Hey guys, it's Jenny. Welcome back once again to Solid Gold. I'm so excited today because I'm adding a new type of pet that I've never had before to my group of animals. It's right here in this box. It is a group of three axolotls. You guys might remember a little while ago when I did my first ever live stream on my YouTube channel. One of you asked if I would ever own axolotls as a pet. I said yes I would because I've always been kind of interested in them, but I just never got them, I don't know why. Well, Anna, who is one of my viewers, actually had a group of axolotls that were juveniles that she had bred herself and she was looking for good homes for. So she reached out to me and asked me if I'd be willing to take some of the axolotls off of her hands, and of course, I couldn't say no. So here they are, and I'm going to unbox them and add them to an aquarium right now. Let's go out to the fish room and open the box. These axolotls were shipped to me from Anna overnight. Similar to shipping a fish, you want to ship them overnight so that they're not in the shipping container for too long, polluting the water in the bag. Wow, she did a really good job packaging them. She also sent me some pellets for them. I can't remember what she said, what kind of pellets she said these were. Oh, this is so cute. She sent me this axolotl handbook with all kinds of care sheets and information. Now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Oh my gosh, I can see one. Oh my God, they're so cute. Oh my gosh, okay, so I can't see them very well because the bag isn't super clear, but I can just make out the shape of this little girl. She's in there, I'm so excited. I ended up going with three axolotls. I knew that I wanted more than one, and Anna had three females available, and I think one male. I got the three females. I didn't get any males. I don't intend on breeding these guys. They're really just kind of fun pets for me to have. So I didn't want to get any males because I know that a lot of times when you have males and females together, you end up having to separate them. Otherwise, the males will just try to breed with the females too much and stress them out. So I just got three girls and two of them happen to be leucistic, which has always been like, if I thought about getting an axolotl, I always wanted the leucistic ones because I think they're so cute with their like pinkish white bodies and then the bright pink gills. Can you get any cuter? And she also had a leucistic one, which I also think are really cool. So of course, me being me, I said, I'll take all three. And this is the second leucistic one. And here is the melanistic girl. I'm gonna take them out of their shipping bags and this is the tank that they're going into. It's a 40 gallon breeder tank out in my fish room. Give you a brief overview of my fish room in case you haven't seen it before. And it's all goldfish out here, but now it'll be all goldfish with three axolotls. My fish room garage area is not temperature controlled at all. It's been my goal for a while now, but I'm saving up money to insulate all the walls and uh, add some air conditioning and a heater. But it's not temperature controlled right now, and being that I live in the middle of Florida where it gets ridiculously hot, this garage as it is right now is not gonna be a good environment for my axolotls to live in when it starts getting hot out because it gets way too hot out here. And from what I'm reading, axolotls like to be at a colder temperature. They don't really like the water to get anywhere above 75 degrees. So out here in the fish room, that's gonna be impossible to do unless I can get this place temperature controlled, which I don't see happening anytime soon because it's gonna be kind of an expensive project. So I'm putting them out here for now and when it starts getting too warm, I'm gonna move them inside into my house where it's gonna be a lot cooler. So I'm gonna acclimate them by cutting the bag open and pouring it into this net, which has a bowl under it. So the net will catch the axolotl, the bowl will catch the bag water, and then I can pick up the net and quickly transfer the axolotl into the aquarium without getting the nasty shipping water in the aquarium. Oh wow, these are triple bagged, and that's why it was so hard to see through them. You can probably see her in there a lot better now. She's so cute. I can feel her little feet pressing against my hand since my hand is under the bag when she moves. All right, so here goes. I'm nervous, you guys.
time to move her over. was so cool. This really is uncharted territory for me, you guys, because I've never had axolotls or anything really even like them before. So I'm like nervous and also really excited. And this is gonna be so cool. All right, so let's open up the second one here. So cute. So, so cool. That one's more feisty. And now let's open up the last one, which is the melanoid girl. So cute. So I've just finished adding all three of them to the tank. Anna has been really helpful in giving me some information on what to expect right after they show up because, I mean, I'm super familiar with goldfish and issues to expect when they're shipped and all that, what's normal, what's not. But axolotls are a whole nother animal, literally. <laughs> so she did let me know that there may be some stress gill curling that might last a day and maybe some gill shriveling. But she said these guys heal really well. And if there's any damage, just keep the water clean and cold and they'll heal themselves. She also said that similar to goldfish after they're shipped, they may shed some of their slime coat just from the irritation of the water quality during shipping. And I notice it most on the melanoid one. Being that her skin is darker, you can actually see like the white patchiness of the, you know, where the slime coat is built up or peeling off. But other than that, they look really healthy. Where's the other one? She's over here. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Oh, look at her little foot. For now, they're just in this pretty plain 40 gallon breeder aquarium with a very thin layer of sand as a substrate. And then the filtration is a sponge filter, which is what I use on all of my aquariums out in my fish room. For now, I just wanted a really bare tank with just substrate and the filter and not really much of anything else. Since, I mean, if they're anything like goldfish or other types of fish after they get shipped, they're gonna take a couple of weeks at least to fully recover and recuperate from being shipped. You're supposed to have at least 10 gallons per axolotl, so I didn't want to cram this full and get like four, but I thought three was a good amount because it would allow me to have a group of them and also 
not overload this tank with too much bio load. I'm super happy with them. Look at them, they're just so fun. I'm sure as I observe them more and become more familiar with them, I'll be able to start telling the two leucistic ones apart. Because I do definitely want to name all of them, but it's going to be a little tough at first because two of them look so similar. I think I want to name one of the leucistic ones Moxie. Thanks for watching guys. I'm really excited that I get to share the entire process of me getting a brand new type of pet with you guys here on this video and in future videos of course. You know there's going to be more videos about these guys, right? <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe for new videos every single week mostly about goldfish and how to care for them properly but also about other types of pets like axolotls. Also guys I'll put a link down in the description section below about solid gold membership. I've talked about this a little bit in my past video videos too, but I want to remind you guys, as a member you're really making every video happen because I wouldn't be able to do this without the support of all of you guys. So if you're interested in helping to support Solid Gold, check out that, there will be a link in the description section below. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, until next time, stay gold.